What is up, everybody? Dan and the Fireman here. On today's episode of Motorcycle Thieves in Brazil are absolutely insane, and therefore this is a long title. But we're going to be talking about this right here. This is going to be a long, long video of these people panicking and getting to a police station because there's a bunch of motorcycle thieves trying to get them, and they got their buddy. Anyways, we're going to be talking about that. Then also some common motorcycle hazard patterns when you're out riding around. We're going to be talking about some of the patterning of open lane versus... Anyways, let's just get up to here. Open lane and a lot of cars stacked up and why people merge, why people cross in your path of travel. Make sure you guys pay attention, especially for your new riders or you're just coming back from a long, long winter, summer, whatever it is you guys did for your breaks. With that said, let's get to class and talk about it. Armed bandits stealing a bike. Let's see what happens. Whoa, 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 whoa! At that point, you just like... It's not your emergency. Toyo. Not your mercy. Huh? Right, I, I didn't see. Are they chasing or are they running? Oh, they're chasing. Are they? Are they? Is this Road Rash? Anybody play that game? On Daniel, you got a good name, but they want him, Scott. On. Doing some dangerous things here, buddy. Learn how to jump a curb, you know, go over an obstacle, you know, blip the throttle, lift your butt. What are we doing here? I think he's being chased. He's, he's alerting traffic ahead to, to move over. He's being chased. I don't know if he's a cop. He's running. Yeah, he's in fear. This is fight or flight. He's flighting. I would do the, I would do the same thing, everybody. I would do the same thing. It's like I got a beautiful Indian FTR 1200S, you know, 2019 model with only 2,800 miles. Pretty much 1,800 of them are in a parking lot. Uh, I would not want it stolen. I would not want it stolen. And remember, it's not your mercy if somebody gets their stuff. Unless, unless it's a buddy. You know, you back up your crew, right? But if it's a stranger, it's like, hey, you don't know. If you try to do something, he's not going to back you up. He's like, I just want them to keep my bike. And then you get you get stabbed. You know, it's... It, Hendrick, the trauma kit won't ship internationally. It's just the way customs work. It's just, it, you know, medical supplies. You know, you start dealing with that. Man, this is... doing on the side oh is he trying to get home i wouldn't go home oh no 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 i would spend the next hour just riding around okay so what i i'm not going to go over this whole thing it is a long video i just i mean crow arizona had a great job with this so arm let's just watch the very beginning of it was that a police station he ended at all right so these people are gonna say no give me your bike you know this is what's gonna happen i got a knife i got a gun whatever it is so as soon as you see that I'm out. I'm out. So he's going to go ahead. So these bikers had to dash before becoming victims themselves. Now let's see where he ended up. That looks like an apartment complex. I'm trying to get the compression. There. Oh, policia. Okay, so you went to the police station. Oh, you, whoever said police, you're absolutely right. So uh, is your name Wiener? Wiener Assist? You're absolutely right. He went. To, your name's amazing. Uh, he went to the police station. So very good. Very good. But here's the thing. By the time you get there, by the time you, you notify things, he said, where's the police station? Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I would go. I would. It, that's crazy how he knew exactly where to go. You know? So, so knowing. So let's learn from this. Remember, this is the after action review process class. Make sure you sign in by clicking that like button. Give the little squirrel a high five on the far right. But, uh. You should know in your own hometown where the police station is. You should know where the fire stations are. You know, if you get if there's a crash that is in town and you know the fire station's one block away, you can make your way there, and that's probably quicker than calling anyone. I would still call anyone, one, but I would go there, let them know, alert them, because who knows, they might be on a different call. You never know. You never know. So we, if it, people have showed up to the fire station before while we're just kind of sitting in recliners eating ice cream, 
and they're like, hey, you know, there's a crash right here. We'd be like, okay, all right, let's go ahead and double check it. Hey, we call on the dispatch. Have you been notified of any crashes here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and just do a, a quick uh, scene survey. We're going to go ahead and, and uh, drive around for a little bit, see if we can locate whatever hazard or not, not hazard. I'm talking like a motorcycle coach now. Locate any motorcycle or, or car crash, and we'll notify you if we see anything. That's typically what would happen. So, hey, and also on top of this, if you race yourself here, do you think bandits are going to come and try to mug you in front of the police station? Maybe in Brazil. Never know. Never know. But it makes it harder for them, right? Brazil is complicated. We don't have much police station. Same in USA. Uh, thanks for, for all the, an uh, not annotations, but thanks for all the uh, context. I really do appreciate it. All right, we'll move on to this one. Near suite. So we got emerging issue. Nice ad adaptation. That's what that was. It wasn't a navigation of a threat. It was an adaptation of a hazard. So we're being riding now. Take a quick look. While you guys are taking a quick look, I'm going to go ahead and refresh the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride, which we are raising money. Evil Loon! Evil Loon! L Renzi, leave this one in. Evil Loon just donated two hundred and eight dollars. Two hundred eight dollars. That's the the top donation today so far. We have eight people that donated to the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. We just passed two thousand seventy two dollars. Evil Loon on this live stream only. You have a chance to win this rescue card. And this is a rescue card that's going to go into our trauma kits. But right now, you can win this, the top 10 donations during this stream only. Sorry if you're watching this later. Top 10 on this stream. We're not doing it all the time, but make sure you guys swing on by the live streams because we do these things during the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. Last year, we, we were giving out stickers like crazy. This year, we're giving away rescue cards and stickers and possibly patches. So here's the thing. We're going to be taking a quick look at this. What do you see, everybody? And I see it in the chat. I see it in the chat. I want to see it in the comments. Big, open, just kidding. This part's not open, but this part's open. So big, long line of people. Big, long line of people. What do you think they want to do? They want to get into our lane. I would want to do the same thing. Now, the problem is if we're speeding as a motorcyclist, if we're hauling ass, or even if a car, Matei, Matei, if, we are, if we're in this lane and we're hauling ass, it's very hard to judge the speed. It's very hard to judge everything. Okay, welcome, rookie. Um, so we need to make sure when we see something like this, we go into orange stage and we do what we need to do. So maybe slow it down, you know, don't haul too much ass. I mean, it says 80 right there. We're only going to 85. Okay. So we're doing what we need to do. So if we're doing what we need to do, what's the next thing? Okay. So if we can mitigate factors, what's the next factor we could possibly mitigate? Well, if we were right here, that's a bad space cushion, right? So he's doing a good job mitigating the factor by being over here in this lane position. Now, remember planning your ride is positioning yourself for safety. That's what, exactly what he's doing. Locating hazards, okay, possibly located the hazards because when you saw the swerve, it was really an adaptation, which we'll talk about right now. He had adapted to that hazard. So this car is going to be like, I'm going to come out here. And all he did was like, okay, cool. I'm just going to switch one lane position. So we one, two, three, one. Let's do this and three. So all he did was go from here to this lane position. That's an adaptation. Now, an emergency swerve would be in this lane position because we're super close. Oh, crap, we're going to get hit to this lane position. You see the difference between this part and this part and then this part and this? That's what my brain looks like right now. Uh, so that's what we got to be doing. We got to adapt to hazards so we don't have to navigate threats. So he did a great job planning his ride. So we're getting, we're, look at that, recognized. Couldn't slow down in time. Okay, you have to remember total stopping distance at these highway speeds. It's, it, it's very dangerous to try to get right behind that vehicle that's going slow because you also have somebody behind you maybe not paying attention. So he, he positioned himself into a brand new position that is safer than being right here. Because who knows? Let's say he was able to slow down enough and progressively break. What about the person behind him? So did a great job, smart rider. Got himself out of there. Get back in the lane. He's not flipping anybody off. He's not punching mirrors. He's not doing crazy stuff. He's not looking back. Because look it, now that we got around that situation, that dangerous area, Look what else we have. We have more, and we have, a big, we have another lane. Just because you accomplished one thing does not mean you can accomplish the next thing if you keep your eyes off the road 
and you're looking back, flipping people off. Great job, Nurse Sweet. Very smart rider. You know I love having my phone on the handlebars so I can see what turns are coming up utilizing my GPS. The best way I think you could do that is using the rock form mount. I use it for my mountain bike, the little FTRs, and then also the big boy FTR that I ride. And guys, links in the description for a discount. Check it out, you're gonna like it, and I'll be seeing you around.